Hi, this is Das Box Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. Hopefully we should be able to move along a bit faster now that we're into it, because I won't need to explain quite as much. We have another text message here at the beginning of the next turn. One of your captains mentions that you'll need plenty of gold if you're going to recruit in an army. One easy way to obtain gold is to take it from treasure chests instead of distributing it to the people. Another is to search out gold mines such as the one to the south. Yeah, in general, in this particular scenario especially, it's not really worthwhile to take the experience from treasure chests because you're not going to have any problem leveling up characters to the maps in this one. And you remember the wolf riders there, they ran away. So, and we found an artifact, the Stoic Watchman, which would help someone who had evil eye skill. I think maybe Gunjula has that. We're going to build the city hall, and that will increase our gold production to 2,000 gold a day. In fact, let's take a look at yeah. no Gundula doesn't have eagle eye yet either. okay once somebody gets eagle eye we'll, we'll get the stove wash into that person and we'll save the game again real quick before we go up against those wolf raiders and looks like they want to fight. And I'm going to select auto combat. The turn cast a spell on the wolf on our wolf riders. Took out one stack of wolf raiders. And the second stack. Can we do the third? Yes. Oh, we lost a few of our own creatures. Hey, okay, here's another artifact the inexhaustible part of ore. So that'll give us one extra ore each turn. And this is a witch hut, which is a place where you can learn more skills. Basic scouting, very useful. Um, reveals one square further into the fog of war, or the shroud as it's called in this game. And there's some piping there save before going up against them. And they run. Can't really go any further. Oh, see that? That's one of the enemy heroes. Well, they can't quite reach us yet. And hopefully we can take out that stack of Ogre Magi. Yeah, which is kind of like the ones in Dungeons and Dragons, they can cast spells. At least a few. And so we're going to have Gundula and Krellian pick up resources and flag things. Yeah, Mercury. And see, here's your choice, money or experience. Usually best to just take the money.
As you eat with the other soldiers, one of them mentions he just came from the tavern where he saw some mercenaries who might be willing to join your cause. For the right price, of course. Yeah, I know about that. And this time, we're going to build a citadel. You know, I think I might have forgotten to build this. No, we did. We did build it. <coughs> Structure wise. But, Citadel basically gives you one arrow tower. <coughs> in addition to any troops you might have stationed in the garrison, which. Probably go pick up the resources in the campfire. We'll flag the shipyard, although we are not going to build a boat just yet. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I can tell. I'm going to have to pause the recording in a minute to get another cough drop. Okay, I'm going to pause the recording for just a second, get another cough drop, and then we'll have Tarnum try to take out those over me jobs. So, just a sec. And we're back. You know, it just occurred to me, I'm so used to pressing the Windows key on the keyboard to release the mouse cursor from the window. I keep forgetting that I don't really mean to do that in this game. It's a Windows game. I need a window. Okay, and now let's try these over Magi. A lot of them. I'm not sure if we can get through this with this level of troops. possible that Tarn will run out of spell points by this point. As a barbarian, you wouldn't have that many spell points to start with. Oh, see, the Ogre Mage just casts blood blood stuff on the other side. <coughs> The Ogre Mage didn't just immediately go for the orcs. But, yeah. 
we're basically down to goblins and orcs. So we could really use more troops at this point. We now have advanced scouting so we can see two squares farther into the shroud than usual. Ooh, I would love to get that. I hope we don't have to fight for that artifact. <coughs> Sometimes you do. Oh, now we got it. The Targ of the Rampaging Ogre. Okay, and I think the rest of this here is just resources, so... start heading him back up north. It's getting close to the end of the game week, so we'll be able to recruit more troops soon. Collect all resources, my chief, says one of your advisors. An army requires a lot of maintenance. It might even be wise to hire another hero just to collect resources and troops while you explore. Yeah, so just in case you skip the tutorial, you're going to get a lot of the same kind of hints for a scenario. And let's build a castle this turn. So it looks like next turn we should be able to build the capital fund. Okay, and we'll, have, and we'll flag the gem pond. And pick up some gold and I wonder if Krullian can reach that treasure chest after he runs the basic scout. No. Okay. Yeah, we won't be able to recruit more goblins until next turn. Same deal with the windmill. I don't think he's ready to take on those rocks yet. But we should probably head turn him up this way so he can be close to whatever go for heroes we pick up in the next turn and glob onto their troops. Okay, word of your victories is spreading like wildfire, and as your scouts return from every quarter of your homeland, you learn that the other clans remain quiet and neutral. They neither support you nor speak against you, except for one. The current lord of the clans, Rabak, was appointed by the wizards as a spokesman for your people. But you've never heard Rabak say a bad word about Brockadoon. He sits in his stronghold eating a feast each night while you recall many nights where your family went hungry because you had to clear out your stores and pay the taxes. Rabak won't sit idle while you anger the wizards. You're certain the two of you will soon meet, and not as friends. So let's go into the town. We're going to build the capital this turn. And we should still have plenty enough gold to hire those goblins from the barracks. Notice we can build, we can hire 31 hours. Last week we only hired 15. That's the difference that having a castle makes. Can choose either Shiva or Sarag. Try to hire both of them. Sarag is one where I can't tell whether Sarag is male or female. Shiva is definitely female though. referring to Sora as either he or she, depending on whatever. So, if I'm inconsistent, that's fine. Okay. 
Okay, we'll have Zara uh, get his or her troops to Tarnum. Actually, I think we'll we might give some of these goblins back to Sarug. So I like to have, say, a hundred each time. That's a nice round level. And then we'll have Sara go around and Let's hire Shiva now. Rather fetching any I think so near the red. have her give most of those goblins to Sarug. We might make Sarug our garrison hero for a bit to guard the castle while Tarnum goes exploring. We can have Gundula finish picking up these resources and flagging this gold mine. And Crowley can pick up goblins. Got the lid now. We'll have him carry those goblins over to Sarug. In the meantime, I think I'll send Tarnum down this way. We might have him go hire one of those ships at the shipyard. We didn't even have to have Tartum already there. Come on. Well, I know that. Okay. So now he can go explore the sea. Now we can start building some other creature generators. Starting with the wolf pen. Notice the buildings. Eh, pretty similar to the goblin barracks, as we said before. But you know, it might be nice. While Tarnum is this close to shore, to give him those wolves we just recruited. Corsaro can't. reach Tarnum immediately, so we're going to have some of the other secondary heroes ferry troops to Tarnum as a relay, which is a rather handy technique. OK, 
Okay, it looks like Gundula might be close enough to complete the relay. Fortunately, this early on in the game, nobody's going to be attacking our starting town just yet. So it's not going to hurt us to leave it, I guess. Now, a lot of the time, you can just have a secondary hero do the... ...exploring in the boat, but... ...I happen to know there's one point where there's going to be an ambush. Secondary hero is usually good enough for just picking up resources, but if you know there's going to be an ambush, or if you run across an ambush and you have to restore your safe game, then it's a good idea to send your main hero along. Oh, rats. There's a sea chest there. build an orc tower this turn, and we'll be able to hire orcs. They're rather nice missile troops. Throw axes into the fire. Right, let's go back to the that sea chest. Some more gold there. Some wood and gold there. That flopping is a great way to increase your resources. Head into free will. I could be used to see all those goodies there. Wouldn't it be nice to pick those up? Some more flopping down there. Now, let's see. I think we'll send. Sarug back here to mind the star. And we're going to put Sarug into the garrison. That means she'll be within the castle if anybody comes calling. Okay, and Gondola's one. I don't think Sheba has where it's got yet, but we're going to have to move Gundula and crawl it out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as we've moved her up, then we will end this episode too. already goes scabby. Oh well, well we will end the episode at this point and hopefully complete the rest of the second week in the next scenario and see if we can uncover the ambush that I suspect is coming up at sea in the next episode. So we will see you then. And I did that again.